Sun were established in 1988, specializing in the high-end technology equipment of judging and thermoforming for foam and rigid container packaging applications. In 2004, we started to sell machinery globally in partnership with American and European to combine their technical expertise and the process knowledge for advanced technology to supply competitively priced equipment to worldwide markets. Sunwa is an outstanding one-shop machinery supplier for a wide range of packaging solutions throughout the world. Our manufacturing orientation targets key packaging, market applications, and processes. To supply equipment from upstream to downstream with quality, sophistication, economic, and innovation, which feature distinct advantages over similar machines from other respective manufacturers. We guarantee the highest level of quality in the execution of a project as a result of up-to-date technology. We satisfy all customer requirements through one of the most extensive and diversified product portfolios. Wow. Sunwell, I think this is somebody I'm going to have to visit. They've got exactly the thermoforming machine I need. Hi, Robert. Hey, I'm how Damien. are you? Damien, finally yes. nice to get to meet yes, you. Yes, good to see you here. Nice to meet you. And welcome to Sunwell. Ah, thank you. Let's go see the factory. Okay. I'm really so, excited. Yeah. Maybe the factory too. Okay, good. Ah, where are we? Here's our sales department. Ah, hello. All my colleagues helped or assist our international sales, okay. being an after-sales assistant. Okay, they help with every region. Yes, such Europe, Africa, Asia, Middle East, and the world of the world. You got a strong team. Yes. Okay, bye-bye. Here is our designing department. Oh, great. Yes, great. we have a two designing parts. Mm -hmm. One is for the current machine, like the extrusion and yeah. thermoforming. The other is for the new developed and the paper form machine. That one looks exactly like the one uh, downstairs. Yes, yeah. that's the one, it's a thermal form machine. Oh, okay. So our engineer is just make a drawing from very small, tiny units. Wow, it's a big area. Yes, this is our electrical and the service department. See. This is an electrical diagram. Ah, okay, so if I want to check some components that I need yes, to for your it, electrician, right. before that we'll give uh, X for your power voltage and ampere, oh. and give some okay. reference, we'll make the electrical for consistent diagram to you. Okay, great, great, perfect. And now that we'll give you the, like uh, operation manual. Ah, yeah, that's the most important one. Yes. I can show you the demo for the operation manual. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, it looks this, like it's online, yeah? Yes, this is for the extrusion. Mm -hmm. And all the layout, uh, mechanical, electrical drawing, configure it in this software. Okay. Firstly, you see it's our IQC department. Okay, so, these are all the incoming parts. Yes. All these metal components, before assembling, uh -huh. will give some checking and measuring. Okay, even these lead screws and everything, yeah? Yes, everything. Our uh -huh. engineer will give some measurement and checking to verify. Excellent. Also, we will audit our vendor regularly. Okay. As you see, that's our some equipment. Oh. CAM. CMM, right, right, right. And the right. granite table for okay. the checking height with the right. very flatness level. Granite surface, right. Yes. And Got this it. CNN is for those uh, components need mm. precision checking. Yeah. So we have this machine. Sure, and brown and sharp. That's a very reputable brand. Yes. Yeah. We do the measurements by equipment, also by the manual. Okay, manual checking of some of the parts. Yeah. yeah. 
one the operator is doing is checking for the components from the thermophone machine. Directly referencing the drawings. Yeah, that's, that's good. To check good. in if the, all the value you see in the code is our drawing and yeah. can give the double verification. Check the bearings and the bushings, some brass bushings. And then they will check the bearing yeah. and other components. All right, excellent. This area is our logistic area. Okay. They will help to work in place in here from very small, tiny scale part sure. to big machine equipment. Oh, I yes. see. They this one's to, ready for shipping, yeah? Yes, they help to assist to uh, loading the, to the container okay. or arrange to the career, to the customer side. Okay. Here is our more department. Okay, so pretty you, impressive. You know that? Sure. Yeah, just not like the uh, thermoforming machine. Oh, we these are all the thermoforming components. More components, yes. There's no... Ah, right, right, I see. What These are the channels. Yes. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So we we'll start from the extruder. Okay. So you can see it has several receiver shoots. Okay. So once the material, like the virgin material, or required flag uh -huh. from our source, and then give the uh, root distribution. Okay. If you need 50% uh, for the virgin, okay. or another for the recycled material, okay. then you can use it. Okay. And coming up for is the hopper, and uh, it's a volume like 150 liter. Okay. Good, good. It's with the uh, magnet. Okay. So yes. once yes. the loading material mm -hmm. with some iron filing, and use Clean yes, up, yeah. suck it. Good, good. This extruder will be like a customized against your required thickness mm -hmm. and the capacity. First, this is a barrel. Totally have a seven barrel zone. Okay. And all are covered by the ceramic heater jacket. Okay. Perfect. And this one for the heat release is by air cool. The screw design is a flight barrier. Ah, okay. You can keep Long the life. yes, you can keep the better plastic sizing and mixing. Coming up for the screen changer. Mm -hmm. The screen changer, the purpose of screen changer is just uh, use the pressure difference. You okay. can avoid some impurity inside of the screw okay. to the next step. Excellent. Just pure material for making the film. That's true. The melting pump can give accurate metering. Also can reduce the back pressure okay. from the barrel part to the T-dye. Okay. Coming up for the static mixer, mm -hmm. give the homogenized stream. Can use the consistent polymer stream to the cooling roll stack and at some of the station. Now it looks like you can also fine tune and adjust the T die, I guess the thickness of it, and also yes. the width. Yes, you can change the different sheet width you want make. Yes. You can adjust for the narrow size or wider size. Okay. You tell me about your rollers here. Yes, this one is for the uh, cooling purpose. Oh, when okay. the sheet is uh, extruded from the T die, we yeah. go through the cooling roll stack, yeah. and this cooling roll stack is sourcing from the water temperatures inlet to this cooling roller. Okay. Okay. So the extruded sheet will go through the cooling roller. The system can keep the press with the flatness of the sheet. A very uniform thickness? Yes, that's okay. true. As I just mentioned, if you want to have a better accurate thickness, you can use this device. This mm. device is called the sheet cage system. And you use that the optical sensor so you can check and can sensor give the parameter, give the data of the thickness to the touch panel. Is this from edge to edge? You can set it up for the each gauge so you can perfect. give the more flatness, more uniform thickness. Okay, perfect. I like that.
it's in line with the system. So okay. it, it can see the uh, unwinder. But right. it could be an option you want to have uh, unwinder within or without yeah. unwinder. Okay, okay. Oh, the heater. It's a uh, 230 volts and the German brand ceramic heaters. Oh, okay. And we, we divide this several zones. From the top is uh, more than 45 above. Okay. Harding is doing as well. Okay. And also this heat using the thermocouple will give oh, yes. feedback to the touch panel. Oh, wow. Good, good. Pretty accurate though. Yes, and the lens of the, this heat tunnel is like a 5,000 millimeters. The five meters? Yes. Oh, okay. Perfect, perfect. Now what about, I saw this there's a special chain system. Yes. What about the chain the system? The chain system, it's material of the chain system is by the extruded aluminum. Oh, really? It gives the uh, less heat expansion. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. So also, that's what I saw. There's a, a special cooling system just for yes, the train. Yes, behind this tunnel. Oh, just for the chain, okay. okay. And also, we keep light low when you feeding the sheet go through the forming station. Ah, I see. Okay. That's really smart. Also, you want to adjust the tension of the chain. Yep. We can have by manual or motorized. Oh, the one you saw is by the motorized. So right. all the data information will be back in the touch panel. Oh, that's excellent. She's after the heating will go to the forming station. Okay. So there are several functions for this main part. As you said, there's many servo motors. Sure. You can give control for the better precising movement. Okay. Also, we have like a four-point taco style. Yeah. This kind of mechanism can drive the plate. It's stable. It's stable. Uh, Especially good. for the mode in opening or closing. Yeah, I like it. Also for the yoke right end, this yeah. one can support the plate to avoid the shear force. Oh, very good. The other yeah. one is sage wedge plate. Oh, sage wedge plate. Yes. Okay. It keeps the less air leakage. All right. So it can uh, support for different material. Oh, very good. Very ingenious. Also, one more thing is by the, this summer motor. If the material go into here, we want to have a material index. You can give very precisely. Precise indexing. Okay. So can keep the forming station in stability. Okay. Non-stop production. Yes, mm. you can say that. Good. As when you see the forming station, everything, Control, the parameter yeah. data can show in here. Excellent, excellent. Like men, yeah. age, you see lots of the Control issue. Show your heat tunnel. Yeah. Heat tunnel, the temperatures, yeah. you can give feedback from the thermocouple. Very precise settings. Yes, mm -hmm. then is the forming cycle. Yeah. You can see the cycle time in real. Sure. The coming up is a trimmer setting. All right. And if you want to have different type of material, yeah. like a 1.2 or 0 0.8 different thickness, yeah. you can keep safe and extract. And okay, I can keep it in a database. Very and good. All the system setting can be set it up in here. And what about the cycle time? Cycle time is if like uh, you require is couplet, you can yeah. give like a 25 cycle time. Nearly 1,000 couplets in a minute. Per minute. Next one is a rotary vacuum pump. It can cover the operating pressure from up atmosphere. Everything for your operator cannot handle for this one. Yeah. Our engineer will give you some nice training. For that. Okay, perfect. Okay. Trimming station. Yes. Yeah. Once the sheet web is finished in the foaming station, yeah. and the sheet will go to the canopy okay. by the knit roller. These knit rollers are controlled by the servo system. Okay. And also can be synchronized with the foaming station speed. Okay. Yes. And the sheet web 
defeated heading into the trimming station, mm -hmm. you can see lots of the fiber optic sensor. Okay. So it can keep the precising, touching, and uh, controlling. High tech to... sensors. Yes. That's good. And these are the cutting heads. What can you tell me about them? Yeah. Here is an automatic counterbalance drive. The direction of the crank is by the clockwise or counterclockwise to minimize the vibration when you run the high speed production. Okay, makes sense. Yes. When the sheet wave is uh, mounted on the canopy, the sheet wave will go down to the trimming station. And it's controlled by the uh, servo pick system. The speed of our processing for trimming station you can be used by our servo pick index. After the trimming process, the finished okay. product will be pushed out to the packing table. Okay. And the scrap of the sheet wet will go down to the crusher drain. There's an option for the underpress grinder that's independent offline post grinder. It's can be configured with the vertical trim press or horizontal trim press. Just transfer the sheet web to the post grinder can give the web tension control. It's soundproof cover inside of this equipment. As for the tooling change, we can use the side load linear bearing. This extended side window opening for tool changeover can give the easier and quicker change. Okay. And the, the last one is uh, the crushed black or the west mm. can be yeah. used to blow a trench to your central storage. Sure, sure. Okay. Okay. Well thought out. Okay. Nice, Damien. Yeah. Here is our control panel. Wow, looks nice and organized. Yeah, as you can see, all the components is very reliable. Yeah. And uh, everything is certificate our C uh, compliance. Okay, very nice, neat and clean, very well laid out. Yes. Easy to maintain if I need to. Sure. Right. Nice and layout. You see, like uh, yes, Kawa server system. Sure. And also like uh, Delta PIT temperature control module. Okay. You can have uh, you know reliable solidity. Okay. Good. Good. Nice, Damien.
Well, I think this is an amazing machine, Damien. I really thank, thank you, you for showing me and uh, explaining the features. I think it's, it's, a, it's a powerful system you got set up here. Nice. Now, I think anyone will have some concerns, though, about how advanced it is. Now, do you have any programs in place to help uh, operators and help people who buy the machine to set it up and learn how to use it better? For sure, when a machine is ready and delivered to your factory, we will okay. dispatch our engineer go there for some commissioning for instruction. Okay. They will tell your operators how to manage, how to run the machine. All right. Also, All right. we have uh, our operation manual will be oh, sent okay. to your factory. It must be pretty thick. If your operator have any question, you can just uh, give us the message. We can try to our uh, time to give a solution. Now, Damien, I saw a lot of uh, sensors and a lot of safety features on this machine. There's lots of lights everywhere. And what, what, what happens when there's an emergency situation? How does the machine or a control system handle that? You can see that lots of the buzzer or warning yeah. alarm. And uh, when operators heard some voices, they will go to the monitor and they have some error display in the monitor. You can see which part you can go to uh, solve the problem, okay. to release the button and check okay. to keep the troubleshooting. Okay, go to the control system. That's good. Yes. Okay, now another question I have is about the, the, the thermal forming sections. Now, what if our operators run into some processing problems? What kind of assistance do you have for this kind of issue? For sure, they would check if everything is by the uh, surrounded in environments like a pressure, like a vacuum, like uh, electricity, yeah. you can check. Also, you need to have a very experienced engineer or operator right. to check, to operate. And But uh, it could be trained by our engineer. Okay, I understand. Well, okay, one last question then before I let you go. Uh, I think one other issue is, of course, it seems like you have a lot of imported and uh, very high-end components, especially the control panel. How can I handle the spare parts? Yeah. Uh, for this part, it's for sure. We will give you the list for the consuming spare part, and also we will provide some spare, free spare part to you. And free spare parts? Yes, for, for the require something, but uh, okay. we'll let you choose and also show the unit price on the list. Okay. So sending to you, you can pick up, maybe you can save, you can keep some uh, stock when okay. you purchase the machine, when the machine is running. Excellent. Yes. Well, sounds fair, Damien. Yes. And I'm really impressed and I think this is an incredible uh, inline system for thermal warming. So yes. I really appreciate it, Damien. It's my honor to you know, introduce the machine to you. Yeah, I really and like Sunwell. Thank you very much. Okay. And now I want to introduce our general yeah. manager, Mr. Kenny Tan. Ah, you very know. good. Yes. Hi, Robert. How are nice you, Kenny? Nice to meet you. I'm fine, thank you. How about you? Great. Great. I'm happy to be here to learn about this wonderful piece of equipment. Thank you for your coming. Yeah. Well, thank you, Damien, also for introducing this machine, right? It's got lots of features. I think I'm very interested in it. Now, there's just something I do want to ask you, mm -hmm. because uh, this machine is producing plastic right. products. Right, and there's a lot of environmental concern about this. Now, what is it that Sunwell is doing to address the situation? It is a good question. Actually, today, reuse, recycle, reduce, and reprocess are the trend of uh, modern civilization. Yes. We are developing these uh, eco-friendly materials and uh, technology. Try to reduce the resource consumption also reduce the carbon footprint ah, to right. keep the sustainability in the yes. future. That's key, that's the yes. key. So, you know, Damien's introduced your machine, yeah. and I think it's so full of many different features. But the one thing I'm concerned about is, it must be really difficult to use. But is that possible, Kenny? Uh, looks like, but it is not, uh, because we have been developing the intelligent machinery system, okay. which is a uh, uh, network together with uh, 
all the industry applications okay. for learning selfish and okay. uh, to connect it with uh, devices, okay. with uh, machine, with uh, people yeah. to give uh, big data for analysis. Okay. Therefore, you uh, you could increase the salary for productivity, for the energy management, and uh, maintenance as well. Okay. So, Kenny. Now, what is it that you have in mind for the future for Sunwell for the next decade? Uh, you know that customer satisfaction is the always a valuable achievement which okay. we pursue at all the times. Yes. So we would like to develop this uh, mature, innovative relationship with customer. Oh, okay. Keep in mind, Sunwell is a partner with the customer for their maximum profitability. I believe it, Kenny. You're going to do it for sure. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you. Damien, thank you, thank you as well for seeing this it's great machine. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Great.